Here's a 10-bit uh, recirculating acoustic delay line memory made with this uh, Force MIMS Radio Shack Electronics Learning Lab. It's a uh, kit my, uh, my parents gave my son, but I tend to play with it more than he does. <laughs> Uh, so the way this works is uh, it picks up sounds from this microphone, amplifies them, detects them. So a 1 is represented as, as a tick and a 0 is represented as silence. Uh, then retimes them with, a os with an oscillator and then uh, retransmits the tick, amplifies the tick and sends it to the speaker way over here. So between this speaker and this microphone are eight of the bits, and then there's two more bits in the in the flip-flops that make up the circuit. These four buttons uh, allow you to, to set and clear individual bits. So it stores 10 bits, but I only have four buttons, so it, it uh, gives me access to, to four of the bits that I can uh, set or clear as, as just a demonstration. And we'll see on this uh, oscilloscope. So this pulse over here um, is the beginning of uh, the 10-bit frame and on this upper trace you'll see the, the, the data bits um, and they should be retained when I when I set a bit or cleared when I, I clear a bit. So let me hook up the, um, the speaker. Um, you can see it pulsing a little bit as I'm talking as the, uh, the microphone picks up noise but if I hook up the speaker then it, it should uh, preserve uh, the bits and work as an actual memory. There you have it. We lost uh, a few bits along the way and gained a, gained one, but uh, the circuit is very crude. It, it kind of just barely works and the uh, threshold adjustment is, is kind of sensitive. So here's the circuit if you want to try to build this. So this uh, microphone is hooked up to this uh, just a little two-stage op-amp amplifier. Um, then it uses this uh, LM339 comparator. Uh, and there's a, uh, a potentiometer to, to adjust the, the detection threshold. Then there's a, a, a little set reset flip flop made out of this uh, uh, 4001 uh, NOR gate. Then this uh, 4013 uh, D flip flop retimes the signal and clears the set reset flip flop. These uh, exclusive OR gates are used to, uh, the first one's used to inject uh, the clear set signal. And the second one is used with the second flip-flop um, to generate the tick sound. So basically, if this flip-flop is inverted, it makes a, a tick sound. And then here's a uh, LM386 uh, audio amplifier that goes to the speaker. Um, here's a, a 4001 based um, oscillator and a uh, 4017 uh, counter decoder. So this this is where the the, uh, the the frame timing comes from, uh, and, has, and it has these buttons hooked up so you can in, in clear or set the, the bits. There you have it.